Oh, live now on, uh, we're live on Instagram. We're live, we're just live basically. We're live everywhere. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, it is unbelievable. You're unbelievable because this is the week that we're talking about you answering the call because the phone's ringing. The phone's ringing. Is anyone going to answer the phone? Who's going to answer the phone? Do you remember that? We used to live in your house and you had a phone call, like a, a phone that rang like that. Do you remember? Do you remember that? Look at that. 59 people have come in before even one minute past seven. It's unbelievable. Can you hear the phone ringing? It's your future. It's your destiny. It's calling you. It's calling you. Can you hear it? Are you going to pick up? Hello? Yep. Oh, it's my future again. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Am I... Do I want to create a life of meaning? Yep. Do I want to do something amazing? Yep, I do. Am I prepared to face a few fears? Mm-hmm. Okay, what do I need? I need to be confident. I need to go to work on myself. What else do I need to do? I need to be careful about the information that I put inside my mind. Careful who I listen to. Uh, not try and chase too many rabbits. Okay, thank you. Yeah, what else do I need to do in order to create the life I want? Oh, I need rituals. Rituals. What are they? Thing, things that I do every day. Oh, okay. That I do, what, when should I do that? In the morning. I should do that in the morning. Okay. Why should I do that in the morning? Oh, okay. Because that's how I start the day, right? Because if I don't create the day, I'll go into reacting mode. Yeah, okay. Right. Okay, what else do I need to do? Um... Oh, yeah, at the end of the day, just kind of review the rituals, uh, keep a journal. What? Sorry? Life, if life is worth living, it's what? It's worth recording. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, what else? Surround myself with like-minded people. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, why is that important? I, I'm the sum of the five people that I spend most of my time with. Yeah, okay. And I have to... Sorry? Oh, the greatest gift I've been given is the, the ability to use my mind in positive and powerful ways. Right. What you mean to what, like to kind of see the future and, and, and be wanting to move towards that? What? To, to be inspired. OK, yeah, I need to be inspired. Um, and uh, what? Really? I'm either kind of in a crisis, moving out of a crisis or going into one. I'm either in one, moving out of one, or going into one, right? Okay. Oh, sorry? The word crisis, the two Japanese symbols meaning danger, but also opportunity. So I should see every bit of difficulty, every bit of overwhelm, every bit of stress in my life as an opportunity to get stronger. Oh, okay. Okay, that's brilliant. Well, listen, thank you very much, The Future, for calling me. I've taken the call. And I'm going to, I'm going to lap it all up. What? Be consistent. Okay, so what is it that we're going to be doing next week on My365? Oh, how to create perfect days. Oh, that sounds really interesting. I'm definitely going to be tuning in. Thank you so much for calling. Lots of love. Ta-ta. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Oh, he's ringing again. Hello, 444-4444. Hello. Yes. Oh, um... Yes, yeah, yeah. Be grateful every day. Yes, very important. Uh, okay, thank you very much. That was the future. Goodbye to the future. Hello, the future, because the future's now. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for joining me right here, right now. The world is just there for us. It's there for the taking. And I'm excited. I'm pumped up to help every single one of you create a life of meaning uh, but what we have to do, for me, as we do a summary of the week, is you have to fixate your mind on being a hero and not being a victim. So many people play the victim card. We've all done it. You might never stop doing it completely, but to realize when you're doing it. When you're using the language in your head of, poor me, why is this happening to me, I'm not good enough, blah, 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 blah. Or, rather than going blah, 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 we maybe should be going quack, 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 quack. Now, one of the things I wrote down this morning, because I, I get up every day, 4.57, but this morning I woke up at 4.30, which meant I had an extra half an hour, got involved with my rituals, what are they? Glass of water, cup of coffee, 
uh, start working on my journal, start making some notes, um, and a few other things that I do. I do some yoga, just get myself ready so when I come on here for you guys, I am pumped up. I am here, 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 here for you. Does that make sense? So, this is what I wrote down this morning from reading Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. I love this. He says, what we need to do is that, this is what I interpreted from it. Bearing in mind this was written in the 1930s. Capitalism was based on not so much money, it was based on people using their imagination. If you want to create the future that you want, you've got to use your imagination. It's the gift that you, to dare to you, to dare to dream is to use your imagination, to have faith, to have enthusiasm, write this down, your ability to make decisions, uh, to be persistent, that is what capitalism is all about. For you to use the capital that you've got, you could have an abundance of using your imagination. That's why every day journaling, writing down, thinking, picturing, you don't have to do it for hours on end, but use your imagination, use it wisely. Most of you use it every day in unproductive ways. Imagining the worst case scenario, imagining how your life could turn out rather than how it's how you want to turn it, how you want it to turn out. So imagination, faith, enthusiasm, decision making, you being persistent. Now, if you do that, your motivation, it will increase and you will be able to build and construct and achieve and render amazing things, amazing things for yourself and maybe even service to others. Does that make sense? So you need to be aware of this. This is kind of summarizing the whole week. In order to create the life you want, you have to understand that anyone that's created anything of any substance, what has happened to them is they have gone through what is called the hero's journey. And the hero's journey is so powerful that most of us don't realize how powerful it is. There is a very common path to The Wizard of Oz, uh, Star Wars, uh, any film, The Matrix, which I love, when you get taking the call, all of these films, Harry Potter, The Lord of the Rings, you see someone going on a journey. You are on a journey of your life. It might not have been the journey that you have chosen, but in many cases, it maybe is because the decisions that you make every single day are dictating your life. Do you believe, show me some hearts right now, if you believe you have the power to change? That inside you, you have the ability to transform, to make things happen. By the way, bottom left-hand corner, if you haven't shared this, please share it. Let's get this information out there. People need to know this. They need to learn how to believe in themselves. So they need a coach like me, a world-class coach. Then they need a community of like-minded people all over the world who want to support them. Everyone needs support. Try getting anywhere without any support. It's like... I was going to say, like not having pants. Your pants support you. You should thank your pants for supporting you or your knickers or maybe they're too much information. But the reality is we all need support. If you're going to go on this journey, it's going to be testing if it's going to be worthwhile. Now, there is a story of the, the King Arthur's Knights that they all were going to go into the forest, but they were all going to go into parts of the forest which, the, which were dark and it looked like no one had gone into that part of the forest before. That's kind of like what we need to do. We need to challenge ourselves if we want to grow. If you want to grow, you've got to stretch yourself. If you want to grow with your muscles, if you want to grow your mind, you've got to test yourself. You've got to push yourself a little bit. This is the number I asked all of you to write down this week, 4%. 4% improvement. I've done 4% improvement in the two hours that I've woken up and got up a bit earlier. I'm improving. I'm working on myself. I'm better because of the investment I'm making in me. It's one of the greatest investments. And all we have to do is just get started and face our fear. Because when you go on this hero's journey, you will face fear. You will face dragons in, in your mind or dragons of the people who maybe don't want you to change. And you go on this journey, you are tested. You are tested to the point where if some people, they feel like giving up. But as Napoleon Hill says, we're always three feet from gold and you keep going and you get stronger and then you come home again, coming home better than you were before. Some of you right now are so much better versions of yourself because of what you've been doing over the last few weeks and months, 
You guys are amazing. You rock it. I'm so proud of every single one of you. We're on a journey together. Does this make sense? Has this been an amazing week? Are you much more aware now of how to create the life that you want? It's not for me to tell you how to do it because it's your life. We're looking at the ingredients and the ingredients are your ability to see you're on a journey. You're going to be tested. You want to perhaps go down a path that challenges you in some way. Fear can be our, 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 the engine that inspires us to go through the fear, to go through the other side, because that's when you tap into your infinite potential. So it's not that I was frightened to do yoga this morning, but I didn't really want to do it. I didn't really think, oh, let's do yoga. Yay. I mean, I could have probably would have done, done it a bit better possibly. But I thought about tapping into my infinite potential. My potential exists when my body moves. When I move, everything moves inside me. That's what my body is designed to do. So I'm so much better for it. Having drunk a glass of water uh, today, having drunk the world's healthiest coffee uh, this morning, I am in a better place because of decisions that I made, because I wrote down what I was grateful for. I'm better. I'm better. Write down this. Everyone, write it down right here, right now. The best is yet to come. Write it down. Thank you very much for you guys on um, Instagram, on the camera on my right. I love you guys on Facebook. There's so many of you watching here right now. If you haven't shared this bottom left, share it now. And everyone, say with me, the best is yet to come. Everyone, say it. When you see people writing this right now, say it. There you go. Say it right now. The best is yet to come. Angie, the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Stop playing the victim. It's time to be the hero. Who's my hero? One of them is Michael Jordan. You know, he is someone I aspire to be like. Yes, Carmen, the best is yet to come. Yes, Kate, the best is yet to come. Yes, Dolly, the best is yet to come. Vanessa, the best is yet to come. Brenda Richards, the best is yet to come. Ben Dale, the best is yet to come. Say it like you mean it. Shaz, the best is yet to come. Instagrammers, say it. Denise, the best is yet to come. Veronica, the best is yet to come. You haven't seen nothing yet. Dolly, the best is yet to come. Desi, the best is yet to come. Karen, the best is yet to come. Today is helping my daughter getting over her fear of needles as she is to inject medicine every day. She can do it. You need to be strong for her. Becky, the best is yet to come. Eddie, the best is yet to come. Sarah, the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. To come. Someone says, stop shouting. I'll do what I want. You can do what you want. The best is yet to come. Go away if you want to. The best is yet to come. This is your life. You can do whatever you want with it. And I'm gonna finish on this. I've said it, I'm going to say it again. Capitalism in this world, in this time, is based on the Mastermind Alliance. Your capital is surrounding yourself with great people. People like you and me who know that we can all achieve and do more. That's what capitalism is. Thank you, Tom Heron. The best is yet to come. With people like you in the world, people like me in the world, and people like all of us that are watching right now, there's so much that we can do. Capitalism is your ability to use your imagination, to have faith, to use enthusiasm, to be persistent, to use, make decisions every day. Build up your capital and you'll be more motivated to create the life you want. You are a hero for showing up every single day this week. Give yourself a massive <laughs> round of applause and take the time. Take the time to be consistent. That's what next week is all about. Creating perfect days and getting this domino effect going on. I am looking for every single My365er to show up and talk about what have you learned this week. I'm your coach. Your coach is asking you to do something. Whether you do it or not is up to you. If you don't do what your coach is asking you to do, don't expect to make too much improvement. It's as simple as that. It's all about little games. What have you learned? Listen very carefully. What have you learned this week? What have you achieved this week? And what are you going to do with that information? What are you going to do? Does that make sense? Joe Tyler, amazing to see you. Our member of the month. 
what an awesome member of the month you are. Already now we're thinking about the member of the month for next month. I've got a pretty good idea who that's going to be. So is my wife, who's next door. Thank you so much, guys. Tilia, amazing to see you. You're awesome. Uh, thank you so much. What have you learned? What have you achieved? And what are you going to do with it? This is what your coach is asking you to do. Don't make this what's called retroactive advice, where you wish that you'd achieve more. You will achieve more by doing exactly what I'm asking you to do. Will, you're amazing. You're all amazing. Much love to everyone. Um, and it's been, it has been an incredible week. Thank you to our, all of our new elite members. Uh, the doors are closed now. Thank you. The webinar was amazing last night. So you won't be hearing me uh, go on about that. We're just going to stick to great content. Celia, you are awesome. Angie, you're awesome. Everyone's awesome. Much love. Goodbye on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, Pete Cohen underscore. And lastly, take some pictures to show your journey. You're on a hero's journey. Anything that you do that inspires you, uh, take a picture, hashtag it. Hashtag my365projectme. Jim, great to see you. The best is yet to come. Um, it has to be. Take the call. Take the call of your future calling you saying, come on, let's do something incredible. Lots of love. See you soon. See you on Monday, 6.30 a.m. for our elite members, 7 o'clock. Normal service will resume. Ta-ta. They've gone on Instagram. Show me some hearts if this has been amazing for you. And also, just someone was telling me on Instagram not to shout. I mean, who do they think they are? Hey, I'll do what I want, as you can do what you want. It has been an awesome week. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. If you haven't shared this, share it. You know that someone, by you sharing this and this appearing on your timeline, someone is going to watch this and go, what is this? And stop watching it. But someone else is going to watch it and go, oh my, this is exactly what I need to hear right here, right now. Happy, beautiful day, everyone. Thank you, Desi. All the best. Bye-bye.